I feel everybody is on their own path in some way or shape or form, and it's spiritual when you look at it from the outside, you know, whether they're a sports player or a musician or a painter or a banker or something like that. Everyone still has a spiritual pursuit, whether they know it or not. In the beginning, the tattooing informed the paintings a lot more. I was using painting more as an exercise to develop a better practice in my tattooing. Overall, they do live in two separate worlds. There's a lot of things I can do in a painting that I can't do in a tattoo, and there's a lot of things I can do in a tattoo that I can't do in a painting. There's two different approaches to both of them, and there's two different foundations, but they live in the same world, and I'm making both of them, so they're all coming through my filter. The puja and the worshiping and the idea of mantra is something that has helped me a lot with the paintings because as I'm making the paintings, I'm, I'm learning to concentrate more on the idea of the deity that I'm painting. So if I'm going to be painting Krishna, maybe in the morning I'll do a special little puja to Krishna and maybe chant some of his names and then each name will kind of like give me a visual picture or a pneumatic device on how I might approach Krishna and how I might draw him or what articles he might be holding or what pastime I'm trying to capture of his life. So the pujas can relate a lot to that and it's also given me a better understanding of the things that I'm painting and I feel a stronger connection to the things that I'm painting. Now is the time for the book, I think, because it's probably my most productive time painting and I feel this is the first time maybe ever that there's been a real continuity to the work that I'm making. Now that I'm doing these deity paintings, there's a lot more story behind a lot of it, getting to understand what the meanings are a little bit more so I can kind of give a little bit of a basis and a backbone to these paintings. I think now is a good time because I'm learning a little bit more. When I'm making those paintings, I'm seeing parts of myself and trying to like improve on parts of myself by improving on these paintings. They also they ebb and flow and they take on new meanings and they absorb a lot of things that are happening now. So it's not like about this past long distance world. This is about the everyday. So I'm not trying to like gloss into some fantasy world either. Like I hope that these images would be just as relevant as they were when the Rishis were first seeing them and passing them to people and teaching people about them.